Hi, I'm Dr. Shobha Badigar. I'm a consultant in pediatric hematology oncology and bone marrow transplantation in Mazumdar Shaw Cancer Center, Narayana Health City, Bangalore. Today, I would like to briefly talk about blood cancer in children from the age group of newborn child to a 19 year old child. Blood cancer is medically termed leukemia. In India, almost 25 to 30,000 cancers are diagnosed in children every year. Around 9,000 of these cancers are leukemias. In leukemias, we have varieties of them. They are ALL, that is acute lymphoblastic leukemia, AML, acute myeloid leukemia, CML, chronic myeloid leukemia, juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia, lymphoma leukemia. Most common leukemia among these is the acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It amounts to more than 95% of leukemia diagnosed in children. Leukemia in general can be can be cured only with chemotherapy. Chemotherapy consists of medicines that are targeted to cancer cells which are, and which also have certain side effects as they cannot differentiate between cancer cells and normal cells. These chemotherapeutic medicines can be given intravenously through a special line called central venous line. The diagnosis is made based on clinical findings like fever, bone pain, swellings in the neck, that is lymph node swelling, liver and spleen may be enlarged and some children can have bony pain, joint pains and when these children, because these symptoms are vague, diagnosis can sometimes be delayed. The simple test that can be performed to make a diagnosis is complete blood count and followed by bone marrow evaluation and various other tests. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, children will, will undergo chemotherapy medicines. In highly developed countries, the cure rate for acute lymphoblastic leukemia is more than 90% and for acute myeloid leukemia it is more than 70%. Unfortunately, in India, because of poor accessibility, poor affordability, malnutrition and therefore poor tolerability to treatment and delayed diagnosis brings down the cure rate to almost 70% in ALL and around 50% in AML. Despite chemotherapy, around 20% of ALL and around 40 to 50% of AML can come back with disease within two to five years of the initial diagnosis. And this is termed as relapse or recurrence. Now these children usually present with again, fever, lymph node enlargement, liver and spleen size may become big and bone pain, joint pains, sometimes headache, vomiting and swelling elsewhere in the body. These children will again have to go the similar test that is complete blood count, bone marrow evaluation to confirm the relapse and they'll have to undergo chemotherapy again. Except that this chemotherapy will be of a higher dose and will have a different combination compared to the chemotherapy they received initially. The cure rates in relapse ALL is quite good like 50% and in AML also it's around 50% so there is a ray of hope even in children who, get, who, who have a relapse of the disease. All these children, especially relapse high-risk uh, high risk ALL, relapse leukemia ALL and relapse AML will further go on to receive what is called bone marrow transplantation. All these children have to clear their cancer cells in their bone marrow before going through uh, bone marrow transplantation. Now for bone marrow transplantation, while the child is undergoing chemotherapy, we look for a stem cell donor who is healthy. For this, we need to do a HLA typing test. It's a blood test or a buccal swab test done both on the patient as well as the donor. The donor can be a matched donor or a mismatched donor. And a matched donor can be a sibling donor, a parent or a relative or an unrelated matched donor. Unfortunately, only 20 to 30% of them manage to get a matched donor for their transplants. Remaining 70 to 80% do not have a matched donor. But due to today's advancement in diagnosis, treatment and good management of complications, we have what is called haplotransplantation. Over here, every parent who is a half-matched, HLA matched to the patient can donate their stem cells. These, this kind of transplant is called haplotransplant. And when haplotransplant is done on leukemia, the cure rate has found to be almost 50 to 60 percent. In our center, that is Mazumdar Shaw Cancer Center, we have equipments, uh, an advanced uh, therapy management, multidisciplinary approach to manage all complicated cases of leukemia, bone marrow transplantation, including haplotransplantation. And with the kind of treatment we are giving here, 
The cure rates have been on, almost on par with those of highly developed countries with almost 70% with chemotherapy alone and almost 50-60% to 60 with bone marrow transplantation. Some of the uh, children who are diagnosed with ALL relapse uh, after a long time of initial uh, uh, treatment that is late relapse may be cured with chemotherapy alone. So the key to cure leukemia is first not to lose hopes. Next to promptly take the treatment, early diagnosis, prompt treatment and uh, response, uh, response assessment so that relapse is detected early and those children who require bone marrow transplantation do not to lose hopes and go ahead with transplantation to avail the best response rate available. Thank you.